Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, and today we are continuing with ISA Show 2024 Laser Manufacturers, and we are interviewing Thunder Laser at the show today. So let's go. Okay, we have found Thunder Laser. One of my favorite new products on the market is the Thunder Bolt, but we have also found the owner of Thunder Laser here who has decided to give us a couple of minutes to tell us all about Thunder, where they're from, and what they're making. And his name is Clay. And we're gonna switch over to Clay now. He's gonna tell you about it while I take a walk around and look at the lasers. Clay, thank you so much for your time here. And uh, tell us a little bit about Thunder. Yeah, thank you for having us. Um, so right here, we've got the Thunder Bolt. Uh, this is our newest machine this is a, a small desktop machine it does have an rf laser tube which there's glass laser tubes and then there's also rf for metal tubes uh, with the rf you're going to get finer detail engravings uh, as opposed to the glass tubes this machine is also very fast it has 3g acceleration it's nice and compact. my favorite machine it's when you launched this machine i was like uh, where's my checkbook? <laughs> yeah, for 5,500 bucks, um, this machine packs a lot of value. Uh, we see a lot of people coming over from the hobbyist grade machines. Maybe their side hustle is turning into more of a full-time gig. Um, and this machine just really fits that bill for somebody that's a, a side hustle turning into a more full-time thing. Um, inside of it, uh, it's all very well made. These are all industrial grade parts as opposed to, you know, maybe some of the plastic that you might see in some of the other machines. We have a touchscreen LCD panel. It also holds uh, one gigabyte of storage, so you can actually store up to a gigabyte worth of files in here so that you don't even have to um, transfer from your computer. You can just run it straight from the laser. It has a front pass-through door, so if your material is bigger than, um, than the 20 by 12 inch bed, you're able to have that material stick out and still run the laser. Um, what else can I tell you? It's got an integrated camera up here so that you can see the laser bed inside your software that can help you with placing images and engravings on different things. Uh, we also have a variety of lenses available. Uh, right now this machine is the one and a half inch lens is on it, but we also have a two inch, a two and a half inch, and a four inch lens. The four inch lens helps you have a longer focal length so you can uh, cut through thicker things or you can increase the spot size if you're playing around with stuff like that. It's just always good to um, have some versatility in your in your different lenses. The air assist control valve is right here on the, on the rail. There's also a heat alarm inside of it, which is a nice safety feature so that if you do have a fire, it will loudly alarm you. And then maybe most importantly, compared to a lot of the hobbyist machines on the market, um, it has a motorized table. You get a little over four inches of drop here, but it's enough that you can fit a rotary inside of here and you can do uh, full-size tumblers inside of the machine. You can do, uh, was it 30 ounce Yetis or 40 ounce Yetis? The, the, and Ronobos actually the makes floor. a custom yes, uh, yeah. roller for this machine, right? Correct. So we have a, a variety of different, there's two, two rotaries for this machine. The Roto Bolt and the Roto Boss Junior can both fit inside this machine. Uh, we have lots of setup and training videos posted online. We have a knowledge base. Um, we have a, we have the, the knowledge base online, set up videos to get you going, how to unbox it, how to set it up, how to install Lightburn, uh, which Lightburn is the most user-friendly laser software, I would say, on the market, and probably the best laser software. Um, and it, it is fully, fully integrated with Lightburn. Um, some machines kind of use Lightburn, but not, not all the way, but this, this controller is made for Lightburn. So you're going to get all the features of Lightburn. You're not going to have to, you know, pick and choose what, what you can use Lightburn for. Um, and then we have some of the fastest support response times in the industry. Usually customers are seeing three to five minute response time. So if you do need tech support, we're always right there to help you. We ship parts out the same day. We can always overnight you stuff as well. So 
keeping in mind that this is an industrial machine, you know, we want you to have as little downtime as possible. And so we, as a company overall, work really hard to, to make sure that happens. So I, I just wanted to mention really quickly that the new Thunderbolt, the key word here is it's an industrial machine, but it fits into the hobby market because this machine is so inexpensive and it's probably the least expensive desktop commercial machine that you can buy and it happens to be my favorite ever since I saw it at the Lightburn convention. So um, that is probably something that a lot of you are, are looking for is a, an industrial machine, commercial machine that you can put in your shop that you can depend on and has a price point that you can afford as well. Yeah, to that point, I mean, we're, Thunder Laser is at an interesting point or an interesting place in the marketplace because we have the hobbyists that think, oh, Thunder Laser is really expensive. But everybody that I'm talking to at the trade show that does this professionally is saying, why are you guys so cheap? Why can I get so much machine, so much machine for so little? So on that, that industrial side, we're kind of, you know, in between that consumerist market and that true professional industrial person that needs to make production runs. They need the machine to just run, 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 workhorse, you know, time and time and time again and not get too hot or, you know, not have things break down. And so that's where this machine is, is really cool because um, it, it is an industrial machine. It is metal. It is a very robust, strong parts. And you there is, there is no around. external cooling on this machine. Uh, this is an RF laser that has its own fans where it exhausts from the top. Which if y'all want to see the, the laser source. So your usual glass tubes would have water running through here. Whereas you can see this is, these are fans running and that's what actually cools the laser source. So what you see right here, like this is really as much space as it's going to take up. You don't have to have room for the chiller. You don't have to have room for uh, external air, external exhaust. And even the exhaust fan is integrated into the machine, again, to save space. You know, this is, this is a ideal for someone that is limited on space and, um, and budget, because this is our lowest price point machine, but it is a lot of machine for uh, $5,500. It sure is. Well, thank you so much, Clay, for your time today. I know you're very busy with the show. You have customers out there. Well, we really appreciate you taking a few minutes and granting us this interview. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Thank you all.